Greetings folks, my name is Wrongways Gamgee, and welcome to Quick and Dirty Roleplaying. I recently got my Patreon up and running for the Quick and Dirty Roleplaying channel, and in the intro slash promo, I mentioned working on a new project called the D20D system. Also, on my first Patreon post, I mentioned that I'm going to create a third playlist for the Quick and Dirty Roleplaying channel, which will be a development vlog of the D20D system. This is the genesis of that playlist, folks. Video numero uno. Yep, I can speak that Espanol. So what prompted me to work on the D20 system? The straw that finally broke the camel's back on my inertia was seeing the first playtest document for Project Black Flag from Cobalt Press. See, during the WotC Hasbro OGL debacle in the of the mid from mid-January uh, 2023 to around mid-February of the same year, third-party publishers and content creators weren't having WotC stick their hands in their pockets every time they used material permitted by the OGL to sell some products or provide a service. And I don't blame them for that. The uh, besmirchment of trust that WotC displayed was such that third-party D&D um, 5e publishers said, never again and with Paizo at the forefront, uh, took action to work on, or are currently taking action to work on the Open RPG Creative License, or the ORC License. Third party publishers were also announcing that they'd work on making their own core rulebooks that were going to be 5e compatible. In essence, they were going to be more Paizo clones pulling a Pathfinder first edition back when D&D was in its fourth edition and wasn't under the OGL. So being curious about what these third party publishers are going to put out, I signed up for the Cobalt Press's uh, Project Black Flag playtest since they were among the, excuse me, among the most talked about uh, third party publishers that uh, content creators that I've been watching have been yammering on about. I got the first playtest document, looked it over, and was not impressed. In fact, I was deeply disappointed. While they're calling this working on a new game, this was just looking like D&D 5th edition with house rules. Again, Pathfinder was D&D 3.5 edition with house rules. Lots of people, myself included, refer to it as D&D 3.75. I'm actually glad to see that Pathfinder 2e evolved their game even further and more uniquely and didn't turn out to be a D&D 5.5. I was hoping and wishing that Project Black Flag was going to be that, a distinctly different fantasy RPG rule set. But that was my fault for setting those expectations because I failed to regard that they wanted to make a 5e compatible fantasy RPG that was not 5e. So, so much for 5e compatibility I guess. I looked at, my, at this PDF and I said, to, I just said out loud, this is bullshit. I can make a better game than this. They just want to repackage the same slop and sell it back to their consumer base. RPG diversity, my ass. Even with, this, with their design diary on playtest packet number one, Celeste Conowich, Cobalt Press's senior game designer, states the following as like two, like, title headlines for sections that followed. The first being, it's time for the D&D Monopoly, excuse me, it's time for the Monopoly on D&D to end. And the second being, we want 5.5e, not one D&D. Mrs. Conowich and I are at odds here. I want the Monopoly that D&D has on the, table to, on the tabletop role-playing hobby to end. I also couldn't hear less about 5.5e or 1D&D, but Ms. Conowich, her higher-ups, and their third-party 5th uh, edition publishing peers do, because D&D 5th edition is their golden goose. That golden goose is stifling creativity and tabletop RPG market share, not because D&D and its derivatives are better games, but because they have more marketing and distribution resources at their disposal. Quoted myself from earlier, I believe that I can make a better game than Project Black Flag. That may come off as cocky, but I don't care. The squeaky wheel gets the grease. Now I'd like to elaborate that when I say that I can make a better game, 
better is purely subjective. For the sake of clarity, my goals for the D20D system are as follows. One, to provide an alternative system to D&D &D that has many of the same trappings, but with tighter and more versatile procedures so that players can feel more liberated and empowered to be able to do stuff without being overwhelmed by gimmicks that allow them to do so. In other words, I'm going more towards if it doesn't say you can't, then you can, rather than if it doesn't say you can, then you can't. Two, I want to provide an alternative system to D&D that is more streamlined and less demanding to GMs by making the system leaner but meaningful, kind of like Savage Worlds, and to be able to create things and adjudicate them on the fly more easily than D&D 5th edition or its imitators. Three, to provide a modular system with solid fundamentals that can be tweaked with add-ons so that groups can play fantasy RPGs their way, not Watsi's way. And four, to provide tools and perspectives to empower both players and GMs to confidently create their own material instead of waiting for Mommy Watsi or other third-party publishers to breastfeed them official material. I want the D20D system to be the crutch that D&D consumers can use so they can cross into the land of RPG creatives. Will D20D be backwards compatible with 5e? No. Will I show you how to convert 5e material to D20D? Yes, because D20D uses the SRD, well the system reference document 5.1 as the foundation and there's a logic in place where folks familiar with D&D 5e can adapt rather easily to D20. Despite the meme that's being pushed about, it's hard to learn another system. No, it's not. Especially when that other system is a derivative of something familiar. D20 is a derivative of 5e, though it's much more divergent than Project Black Flag or Level Up Advanced 5e and, dare I say, Pathfinder 2e. There's a reason why D&D has a dearth of DMs. The game is unnecessarily complicated, and Black Flag, Level Up Advanced 5e, Pathfinder 2e, and others like them aren't providing solutions, just more Lego parts, so to speak. D20, on the other hand, will be a fantasy RPG system that DMs will want to run more than those other games. Players can try to pressure DMs in playing D&D 5e or Pathfinder 2e, but if they say no, then they have two choices. Find another DM, good luck, or have one of them become the DM. Please do this. Walk a mile in their shoes. So, I think it's enough posturing for one video. If you like or dislike anything you've seen in this video, please give it a like or a dislike and leave a comment. Subscribe if you want to support my channel, and if you really want to support my endeavors, head over to my Patreon and become an appreciated trooper. The link is in the description. Until then, folks, take care and play to find out what happens.